What's up, this is Naked Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer, here with a legendary speedrun guide for Cortana, one of my most run missions in Halo 3, and I've actually been streaming it a ton recently, trying to get the world record 654. This run came in recently at 707, and I hit all the tricks, only lost a few seconds of time here and there, so I figured I might as well just upload this video, and then if I get the world record, I will upload that separately. So here we go, starting out we're going to want to hit a slide jump into this Gravemind cutscene and then right here this little purple piece on the left corner you can actually hit a slick slide jump off that and if you land down this hole and land on the ground before the Gravemind cutscene ends you actually skip this Cortana cutscene and that saves you a whopping 10 seconds but no current record has that trick included in it because it's just so incredibly difficult to pull off. Now in this first room, those enemies have varying weapons. The second elite combat form, who's just chilling there on the bottom by himself, either has a shotgun, sword, or gravity hammer. It's a one in three chance for each. Right there, you want to try to pass that door at the one minute mark. That's the golden standard. And then we're going to come down here. You can jump up to that purple thingy, either with one fell crouch jump onto the top, or with a series of jumps, as I did in my previous uh, Cortana run. Probably did it in my zero shot run as well, where you can jump onto one of the little knobs and then jump straight up and then do the crouch jump off of the top of it to land around that bend. Now here you can hit a couple of nice little slide jumps that'll take you to this door and then after you get out of that door start jumping up and down and, and holding down crouch and jumping so that you use the floor and the outside of that door to push yourself forward. Now moving around here you're going to want to jump up and then under that bend and then jump at a diagonal left that's the optimal way to clear that part and then here you want to try and just jump over that picking up the hammer and the sword as well as all the grenades that are right there. Now here you can run on straight through with the sword or you can do this sweet little box fling. You basically just jump up and swing as soon as the, the uh, top of the hammer passes the um, top of that box. The, not what am I talking about. As soon as the, your reticle for where the hammer swings passes the top of the box. You basically just jump and swing while touching it. Now right there I lost two full seconds from those spider bros so that was unfortunate. Right here I do this complicated little thing where I pick up the bubble shield, activate the bubble shield, and then uh, pick up the brute shot while picking up the camo. Here I lost some more time so overall in Hell's Hallway we lost about three seconds to enemy randomness which is kind of unfortunate but it happens. Right here we have a 245 Gravemind cutscene. I try to get here around 243, and under that is considered a very, very fast run. So then moving forward here, we are coming up into the Hive Room. This room you can die using one of two methods, either the Brute Shot or the Gravity Hammer launch. So if you want to see the Gravity Hammer, watch my Zero Shot. But in this, you just back up all the way, get a running start, and then uh, you want to jump and shoot the brute shot at the same time at that specific angle. And then when you land on the top, you just need to make sure you're holding down crouch as you're approaching the top of your jump. And that will land you on the top there. Then you want to grab the bubble shield as soon as possible and book it out of there. Now in this hallway, you can actually approach this end of this corridor with better gravity hammer, uh, his, I guess, slams during that cutscene. Better better hits, but I did not do so hot, so I need to practice my technique there. Now here, you want to throw that grenade to the left side, and this is one of the crazy box jumps that, probably the hardest box jump in the game. I practiced it for probably about three hours, and that wasn't even a good launch. It was decent. It got me nine seconds from the box launch into this hallway. We want to shoot for six to five seconds, and four is like the absolute maximum best if you land like in the door. Now here you hold down crouch while hammer swinging backwards and if you get to that point where I was as the second Cortana cutscene activates, basically just barely into the second hallway, then you skip the entire second Cortana cutscene and that's a massive amount of time saved. So if you're going for any sort of record, you absolutely have to hit that trick after hitting the box jump. So it's sort of back to back tricks. And then we're just going to use up the rest of the hammer to swing ourselves back. Um, to explain the box jump just a little bit more, you, you place the plasma where I place it, and you don't have to do a jumping plasma, you can take time and set it up, and then you want to um, position yourselves three quarters of the way back on the back right of the box, 
look up at the little warts on the wall, and then swing the hammer half a second after the grenade goes off. That's how you do that jump consistently. And make sure that you aren't moving or, or changing where your reticle's looking. Like you position yourself, you stop, then the grenade goes off, and then you can um, swing as soon as the grenade goes off. It's relatively complicated. Uh, most runners don't do it in full game because it's so hard to pull off, but if you practice it, then it definitely is a consistent uh, launch. It just changes um, the consistency of where you land vertically is, is the hard part. And so here you want to make sure you have a camo and tons of brute shot ammo. Try to brute shot as many enemies as possible. I lost a good amount of time here, uh, probably about 7 seconds total, because I took a while to shoot at the three reactors, and uh, because I was just getting overrun by enemies. And then I lost 3 seconds there at the end, um, because the, the, the grave mine freaking out actually pushed me back from the door. You typically want to be on the door when he freaks out. Here I lost a second because uh, that flood exploded and pushed me away from the path where I wanted to go. Um, that part coming back, you basically want to hug the middle and if you see any enemies with brute shots or carbines, you want to shoot the brute shotters and stick any of the carbiners. I also should have mentioned earlier in the mission that you want to save one frag and always have brute shot at this part. You activate the camo, come here right between that slime and that mound, and then launch yourself up by exploding the grenade and then brute shotting yourself up. Once we get up to here, you're going to want to jump in that sequence. Right at the edge of that purple thing is where you want to do the slide jump to land perfectly over on this side. And then you can take your time to clear those enemies if you're feeling uncomfortable. Behind me, you'll see right here I start getting shot at. So I felt like I was comfortable. I had plenty of shield, so I just moved on forward. Notice we still have some stickies here if you wanted to stick them, either any of the enemies, including those little fatties, the, the ones that pushed me forward. And then here I lost a little second on that door not being open. Um, and then we're basically at the end of the mission. I think if you take the lower route here, it saves one second, but it's slightly riskier. And I knew that I didn't have world record here, so I just took the safe route just to get you guys this run. And then you just want to come on up here, stick any of those pure forms that might start shooting needles at you. And there it is, my PB currently for Cortana 707. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time on Halo.